Hello everyone and welcome to the Honey Soul Child Bottega channel. I am Melinda J and I help people discover, analyze, and heal their blockages through self-compassion. Um, today I'll be doing a lunar reading because a new month is fastly approaching. And um, yeah, we're going to see what the energies are um, showing us or just something that we need to take heed to i'm trying something a little bit different i'm doing um the four elements so i'm instead of just doing it um for four weeks like i usually do it'll be broken down to the four elements and they will be time stamped so you can be able to see your guidance accordingly um also uh before i move forward Keep in mind that this is for entertainment purposes due to, um, and everything is not set in stone due to free will. Um, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. However, you can take heed of the message and however the uh, situation presents itself, you can definitely act accordingly um, uh, just by choice, all right? Your choice, in fact, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this message. So I'll be doing uh I'll be doing air, fire, water, and earth. All right. Provide me um what is the energy for the air signs for this new lunar cycle? Okay, that's two of them. I just need one. Okay. <laughs> Provide me one card for the air signs. One card for the air signs for this lunar cycle. Provide me one card for the air signs. And then I'm just going to follow through with the rest. Okay. We have the full moon in Virgo. Take inspired action. All right. So that's for the air signs. This is for fire. This is for water. And this is for earth. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have new moon in Scorpio. Go deeper. So within this new uh, cycle, this new lunar cycle, we need to allow ourselves to go deeper with the new moon in Scorpio energy. All right. So with the full moon in Virgo... For the air signs, here we can. Did I say full moon? Yeah, I thought it was. Okay. Full moon in Virgo, take action. This card is a is bursting with goddess energy and reminds you that while it's wonderful to have lofty dreams, you also need to grow those desires by taking inspired action. Commune with the heavens, but take practical steps down um earth he uh, down here on earth draw down the energies of the divine by doing something that's as seemingly trivial as making a bullet point list of what you need to do to manifest your dreams into reality also know that know that you are 100 percent worthy of your dreams ditch self and and facement criticism and second guessing yourself and others your manifesting balance um, air signs is find a balance between dream, bi dreaming big and being practical. Okay. Manifesting mindset is it's important to believe in your dreams, but we also need to take practical steps towards them. The need to take. Oh, yeah, I already. Yeah, okay. The energy of this card will help you to reconnect with that reality. See, I'm reading too fast, but y'all get it. <laughs> All right, so the your manifesting affirmation air signs for the full moon and Virgo energy is I forgive myself for everything I am doing my best. And then if you want to amplify this energy within this next lunar cycle, the best time to work on this magic is when the moon is in Virgo or on a Wednesday or during Mercury's hour. And I'm not for sure on calculating Mercury's hour yet, but... 
sooner or later i will get to that i'll get to that point now let's go ahead and clarify the full moon and virgo energy for the air signs let's go ahead and clarify please provide me one card spirit for the air signs <laughs> Spirit's like, nah, we don't need anything right now. They got it. You got it. <laughs> we got it. Come on. Okay, thank you. We got two cards. Empowerment and courage for the air signs. So as you're taking inspired action... You need to have the courage to do so, so you can continue empowering yourself. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. So as you are, uh, again, air signs, as you're taking inspired action, it's important to have the courage um, to do so, to be, take that, uh, take control of your life so you can be empowered and for, forgive yourself or seek forgiveness subconsciously of whatever has transpired in your situation. Be sure to seek forgiveness so you can be able to heal your heart and be able to welcome new um, blessings and opportunity that comes your way. All right. So the shadow work, what shadow work needs to be done? Did a card just flip over? No, okay. What shadow work needs to be done or could be done for the air signs? Please provide me one card. Jeez. Y'all got two. <coughs> we got addictions for one of them. Think about the emotions you're trying to cover up. Deal with those emotions. Process, heal, and release. Okay, well, that explains the forgiveness one there. And compulsive behaviors is another one that came out. Identify your internal feelings. What are you looking to control or feel for the moment? Okay. So those are the shadow work uh, cards that came out for the air signs. And to conclude it with life, with some intuitive life coaching. Provide me one card spirit for that one. Okay, thank you. We have Earth Shifts with the number 72, which is, um, okay, 7 plus 2, that's 9. So something is coming to a near completion, possibly. Um, and it says at the bottom, you are connected to Mother Earth. And as such, you experience all that she does. So let me go ahead and read upon that with the number 72 card with earth shifts and it reads right now you are intensely feeling everything that is happening from a planetary perspective it could be an earthquake full moon an eclipse or a major energy shift whatever the case you are being directly affected by this energetic event as earth shifts into a higher vibration it is shedding and purging the lower energies and you are doing the same you may feel flu-like symptoms Aches, pains, depressions, headaches, dizziness, spaciness, sadness, or even confusion. These energy shifts may be taking um, their toll on you. But this card comes to you today to assure you that this is nothing serious. As an intuitive, sensitive person, you are very 
in tune with the planetary changes as Mother Earth purges the old to bring in the new. You will also you will most likely feel the effects. You're being asked to take extra care of yourself at this time. Get plenty of rest, drink lots of water, take make sure to exercise, eat healthy, and get out in nature as much as possible. Rest assured that these symptoms are temporary. They will pass soon. When they do, you will feel a sense of renewed energy and all will be better than before. Okay, so that is what is happening with the air signs. So that concludes this portion for the air signs. Now let's move on to the fire signs. Okay, with the fire signs, we have the energy for the next lunar cycle is the first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. All right, so a Leo is definitely a fire sign. And, um, of course, if you look closely, we have the sacral chakra image within this photo. So the sacral chakra deals with changes as well as, um, um, excuse me, excuse me, sensuality, mentoring and honoring and nourishing ourselves and also co-creation, whether it's a physical project or a human being in itself. All right. So the, let me read upon that. The first quarter moon in Leo energy. We have, it says tensions is in the air. You know that you can achieve your goals, which is half the battle. But this card suggests you need to be less show and more substance as you move slowly towards your goals. Don't try to impress anyone with money. Avoid allowing your ego to overwhelm you. Don't opt, don't opt for something merely because you think it'll impress others. Practice grounding in a financial situation. Slow your spending. In love, you are being stubborn or possessive. Now it's time to stop. They are manifesting mixed fire signs is this card holds a lot of power. You just need to challenge the heated energies in a wise way. The manifesting mindset is identify and clear any blocks. Step up to receive all the goodies that life has to offer you. You have it. You have to want it. Okay. So with this sacred chakra energy, it's your sexual energy and it helps you connect with people around you and to express your creativity and the energies of the first quarter moon in Leo. All you have to do is say, thank you for reminding me to shine while staying humble. The best day to work on your magic for this energy is when the moon is in Leo or on a Sunday. Okay, because the sun is the celestial body uh, ruler of the astrological sign of Leo. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify this be humbled energy. Provide me one card for the fire signs, please. One card for the fire signs. Goodness, okay. They just fly on the floor. Okay, so the card to clarify um the first quarter moon in Leo, we have dreams. And at the bottom of the deck we have peace. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap into those cards right quick. So the dream card, it says, <clears throat> dang, if I can get to it, here we go. The dream card is all about paying attention to your dreams. When you go to, uh, you go to bed with a clear conscience, make sure you go to bed with a clear conscience, as well as keeping a journal. A deceased loved one may visit in the dream time state or you may be exploring, you could be exploring lucid dreaming. But with this magical guidance of the dreaming card, it says, look out into the sky and observe constellations shining back at you. For it's the stars that point you to the right direction of your dreams. 
With this in mind, take time to decide what it is you wish to come true. Whatever you choose at this time will work out well. So take this opportunity to focus on a lifetime uh, or a lifelong dream or ambition. Go to bed with a sense of excitement for you are on a journey as you always do, whether you are aware of it or not. And knowledge the dream you have for each are untwined with meaning and messages to assist you in your awakening state. And as far as the peace card, it says um, the meanings for the peace card could be a peaceful agreement has been reached, uh, order has been restored, your prayers for peace are being answered, or you're indulging in some me time, as well as enga engaging in prayer and meditation. And it also reads, it is time for a quiet time for reflection so to be still. The peace you crave requires you to slow down, stop thinking, and to take out time. Give yourself a chance to be silent in order to hear the loving message of angel whispers to feel um, the spirit rest upon your head and to open your heart to appreciate the beauty around you. Which um, the peace card definitely talks about resting in the dream so you could embark in either lucid dreams or somebody may be visiting you in the dream state and to remain humble okay and it says be still breathe and go deep into the sanctuary within here in this sacred place you'll find restoration of balance and harmony once you have um calm calm <laughs> Once you have come into tranquility, you'll be able to see the new eyes and achieve a sense of peace in every moment. How beautiful. Okay, and then the shadow work. Let's pull from, from the shadow cards. So what shadow work could the fire signs work on? Shadow work could the fire signs work on? We have selfish. You are wrapped in your own desires. Try looking at caring about the need of others. And at the bottom, y'all have self-absorbed. Seek, seek to feel what others are feeling. Express empathy to others to overcome this. And then, of course, let's go ahead and conclude it with a life coaching intuitive life coaching well good with a intuitive life coaching card oracle card gosh that flew out <clears throat> and it says energy healer your natural ability to heal yourself and others is needed now so we got 73 for that one so that's right behind the first card it says, you are an energy healer, a person with the natural ability to heal yourself and others. It's time to learn about, more about this amazing gift so that you can use it for greater good. You also have the natural ability to see yourself and others as whole, perfect, and complete. You fully understand that when you align with this concept, the mind, body, and spirit begin to heal themselves naturally. Um, you are being guided to pay close attention to your energy at this time. You may feel guided to work with your energy centers, chakras, spend some time in meditation. Allow yourself to feel into and connect with these energy centers. Make note of this sensation that you feel in your body. Do you feel heat, fluttering, a lightness or heaviness or a slight tingling sensation? Continue to breathe and sit with this energy on a regular basis as you do be compassionate and present with this with any feelings or emotions that come up for you as you continue to work with energy healing you may be called to a unique situation in which your natural abilities will be needed you may be called to be a teacher of energy concepts such as reiki or yoga without a doubt energy healing is meant to be a part of your life path align with this path and use it to heal yourself and others naturally all right so that concludes the fire signs 
in your reading. All right. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Now let's go into the water signs. All right, water signs, your card for this next lunar moon is last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with that. Last quarter moon in Libra energy talks about have you been trying to please all the people all the time when you're not yet quite happy yourself? There's a difference between wanting to uh, live positively and spiritual bypassing when you refuse to acknowledge your feelings. You can't fool the universe. So pretending to be happy when you're sad will get you nowhere. Rather, you need to deal with your feelings. Is the, That's the only way. If you're people pleasing, stop it. Think about what is going on and why you're doing it. If you're in an unbalanced relationship, um, address the situation. Your manifesting mixed water signs is while it's lovely to do things nicely, they also need to be done well. Be sincere. The way to get into the uh, manifesting zone is to work through your all your stuff. Once you have done that, you become clear signal for your desires that's for your mindset and your manifestation affirmation water signs it says harmony surrounds me i am well i am on my path the best time to work on this energy water signs is when the moon is in libra or on a friday which is venus day oh yeah keep in mind libra for the shock libras for the chakras your um your tailored chakra is the heart chakra. All right. Now, let's go and clarify this. Let's go ahead and clarify the last quarter moon in Libra. Okay, clarify the last quarter moon in Libra when it comes to making time for self-love. the water sign to clarify self-love and as you can see this um woman in this image here she is like tapping to her um intuitiveness with the moon and the water energy down at the bottom of the image and the bottom of the deck we have finding okay finding answers so um water signs are y'all if you are trying to find the answers i'm pretty sure the best way to seek those is during meditation let me see what the answers is talking about the answer says yes indeed magical meaning for answers card it says visit a psychic medium for answers like this reading <laughs> investigate before proceeding or return to studying spend or spill some beans or be open to receiving esoteric information just like you're tuning into this reading now or you can come clean so it says you already know the answers to your questions so why do you pursue the options of others it's time to well opinions of others it's time to trust that um you the journey to dark chambers within and the bodily ask for the truth to be revealed to you as the answers shine forth, you'll find the advice and knowledge you need at this time. There is no need to seek approval of anyone else for the answers um, all around. So you keep a kin lookout for signs and signals from the natural mystical world as messages appear to you through cloud formations, falling feathers, and the dream time. With the finding card... Of course, if you're trying to find the answers, 
Uh, see, you can basically go within. Um, with that, what the finding card is all about, seek and you shall find, follow your soul's calling, you suffer the deep loss, an unexpected gift arrives, or you found your true path, okay? So that's definitely what is going on with the water signs in that aspect. Now, far as the shadow work, what shadow work could the water signs work on, spirit? Okay, we have envy. Remind yourself that no one has it all. It's okay to celebrate other success. You truly are good enough, water signs. At the bottom of the deck, it has greed. You are attached. You are too attached to things in an excessive way. Nothing good comes out of it. Now, far as your intuitive, oh, I'm about to ruin this other, <laughs> um, other ring I have on my finger. Anyways, um, for the water signs. I'm about to pull a card from the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle deck. Okay. Let's see what comes out for you water signs. Provide me one card spirit for the water signs. Thank you. Soul group. It says at the bottom you are being ready. You're getting ready to unite with members of your soul family with the number 53 it is reduced down to the number eight so with the number eight energy it is um the infinity symbol so there's infinite power infinite success infinite um resilience that comes into play so let's go ahead and tap in for the soul group card, it says a special group of people is waiting for you to come home. That is the message of this card to tell you that you are getting ready to unite with your soul group or family. A group is a collective of kindred souls who come together with a similar set of beliefs, similar ways of doing things, and a similar view of the world. You will know when you have met these people based on a simple but powerful feeling, a feeling of being at home and accepted in a way that you never truly have before. It will feel as if you have known these people your entire life, because even though you have just met them in this lifetime, you have known them for many, many lifetimes. This is a very special reunion and you will experience the after effects for months to come. You are finally home and your soul family has been expecting you. This kind of connection is an extraordinary feeling, a mutual understanding that you have yet to experience in this lifetime. Don't be surprised when you realize that you and your soul family are a uh, common backstory as well as uncanny similarities in the habits and values. It is possible that they will know what you're thinking even before you do this fate reunion is very exciting exactly what you have been waiting for and if you have not met your soul group already rest assured you will soon will okay and i need to pull these cards down for the air uh, air sign there we go okay so that's what's going on with you water signs your soul group is awaiting on you because the answers that you're trying to find they could rely in, within this soul group and also be sure to take time for self-love, okay? All right, so that concludes the water signs, reading, lunar cycle. And let's go on to the earth signs. So the earth signs, y'all, card is the last quarter moon in Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. Okay, so Aquarius energy is all about rebellious, independence. Um, as well as unexpected changes as well. So let's go ahead and tap into the last quarter moon in Aquarius. And that's the air. Okay, so we got um, earth, fire, air, and then air. So we got two air aspects within this reading. Okay, 
So it says, drawing this card suggests that it's time to be more grounded and work out what really matters to you. Once you clear, uh, you're clear about your priorities, you can start to alloy time, energy, and focus on them. If you want to create something solid, it takes a mix of good ideas and practical work. The most important thing to work out now is uh, what is really important to you and whether you're living your life in accordance with that. If not, this card is a nudge to make changes so you can achieve what you want. Here we have an energy that is modern, cool, and has another rustic reel. Never the twine shall meet. The manifesting mindset is once you know your priorities, it becomes possible for you to work out where you focus your energy in terms of your life and your manifesting. Your affirmation for this is, I don't need anything, but some things I want. Okay? So that's what's going on with the Aquarian energy. And the chakra that is associated with the Aquarius energy, Earth signs, is the third eye chakra. Working on your intuition. Intuitiveness tapping in. Third eye chakra. Yes, the wisdom, the discernment. Um, trusting in the higher source. And also your imagination. Now, to clarify... The Aquarius energy. Let's go ahead and see about that. Two shuffles. I actually like doing it like this, y'all. Comment down below your thoughts on doing it this way with the elements for the lunar cycle. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and provide me one card spirit. On the last quarter moon of Aquarius. Okay, everybody, I am back. <laughs> All right, so back to the earth signs here on uh, reflecting your priorities. Let's see what um, comes out for you all. We have prosperity. Ooh, where the money resides. Okay. Okay, money, money. It may not be money specifically, but um, from the image wise, we see coins galore showering down on this individual. So once you reflect on your priorities, earth signs, you can uh, could see some form of prosperity coming your way. And at the bottom of the deck, we have confidence. So subconsciously, it's going to bring you some, <laughs> it's going to boost your confidence up. Because now that you are focused and uh, focused on your priorities and, and staying on the straight and narrow and trusting things with that third eye chakra associated with the Aquarius energy, uh, once you're in tune and focused and you're using your discernment along the way, there could be prosperity coming towards you, earth signs, which will uh, which will bring you some newfound confidence or just a boost of confidence because now you got your money up, you are up, and you looking good, you feeling good, you smelling good, and all those type of aspects, okay? So um, the shadow work that could be done for the earth signs, the card that came out is jealousy. Your past wounds needs healing. Work on your self-love. You are far greater than you know. And at the bottom of the deck, we have possessiveness. You are clinging onto someone or something way too tightly. Learn to let go. Love has no ownership. Everyone has free will. Okay. Um, and also to conclude this message... Uh, earth signs on the wall. I was about to say water signs. <laughs> Could be dealing with a water sign. All right. Let's go ahead and conclude it with these cards here. The uh, Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle deck. Okay, so let's go ahead and right off the bag. Dang it. 
All right, and we have rejoice in earth signs, okay? It says at the bottom, you have learned how to make the most out of life. So again, earth signs, let's go, let's get it. Let's get these priorities straight. At the bottom, we have dark night of soul. You're in the midst of a spiritual awakening, okay? So the rejoice card, we got two plus six, that's eight as well. So we have another resilient um, energy, infinite energy. And it reads, your high vibrational energy is creating positive movement in your life. Use this empowered time to gain clarity about what you want to manifest by combing your intentions. Again, reflecting on your priorities uh, with positive feelings of gratitude and joy. In doing so, you align with the pure and vibrant source energy. Joy and gratitude are two of the most amazing and invigorating feelings in the world. Not only does your energy feel good, but also they also hold the power to create miracles in your life. This card is speaking loud and clear to let you know that you are definitely in the frequency of creation. Your energy is uplifting and inspiring to all those around you. You spread joy everywhere you go. You truly are an inspiration and you are manifesting beautiful things in yourself in the process. Stay on, on this radiant vibrational energy. You are helping others simply by being who you are. Just remember to stay in your energy, your own energy, and it's easy to get thrown off balance if you focus on things and situations that are outside of your control. If you surround yourself with people who also know and understand the precious gift of joy and gratitude, however you will choose, uh, well, however you will easily stay upright. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Your unique energy and enthusiasm for life are excited. What and what the world needs with joy and gratitude as you your fuel, you will naturally flow with the river of life and things will just keep getting better and better. Okay, yes, that is a wonderful way to conclude um the earth signs energy. And by the way, since we are moving into an earth sign season, Virgos. I encourage you all to check out the Virgo season reading because um, there are some aspects within this lunar spread now that definitely reflects that. So be sure to check that out. Okay. And if you have Virgo placements, anybody else who ha um, has other placements in their chart and you would like to try, um, you'll like to see what the Virgo season is, uh, energies are looking like, feel free to check it out. And feel free to like the video and leave me a comment in that video as well. Okay, so that concludes the lunar cycle reading for all the elements for the next month that's coming up, which is September. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this message. Please um, feel free to leave me a comment down below on how this resonates with you. And if you like this format, um, um than the other format that I was using um, before. I, I really thank you all for tuning in. Please sure to uh, like the video if you haven't done so already so I can be up in the algorithm streets. And um, share the video as well. Sharing is caring. And we can each one teach one as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll uh, and hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload a video. And always remember to love thyself, know thyself, soothe thyself so you can heal thyself. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the ancestor reading. <laughs> okay, bye you guys. Bye.